So excited for this episode, we're making the car drift ready. We're modifying the diff, installing the angle kit, roll cage, harness, bucket seat, steering wheel, shift knob, handbrakes, and especially, of course, the wheels. Hey guys, we're back here at Garage Life and I'm so excited for today. For a quick overview, the guys went ahead and installed the roll cage, hydro handbrake, installed the clutch, bolted up the transmission, and modified and installed the diff. Yeah. The first thing we're going to do today is install the Wise Fab Angle Kit to give the car more angle and then we'll move on to the interior. The theme for the interior is pink. So we ordered a pink steering wheel, pink horn button, pink quick release, pink bucket seats with hearts on the front and glitter in the back, pink shift knob insert, and pink harnesses. Unfortunately, the pink harnesses we ordered are still on its way from Japan, but we'll have black ones for now and we'll swap them out when the shipment arrives. And last but not least, the wheels. We went up to Washington to pick up wheel sites from pro Formula Drift driver Chelsea Danofa and got them refinished by our friends at VR Wheels and mounted Nexen and Fura tires. So let's get started! So first off, we're going to be installing the WiseFab angle kit. Uh, the reason why we're going with this route is because the, the FD is not a really good drift car to begin with. If you were to try to just drift the stock FD, it's just almost impossible. So with this WiseFab kit, we can actually throw a lot of angle and it'll be very difficult to spin out. We're gonna see uh, Sarah go super backwards and- Some backies. Freaking crazy <laughs> shit. But uh, yeah, we got the lower arm, the upper, the knuckle. We could adjust the Ackerman, the caster, whole lot of stuff. So yeah, let's get do it. Let's get it. All right, so we're over here. We got the stock suspension off. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the upper control arms. Actually, we're gonna have Sarah install the upper control arms. So okay. Sarah, here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is, honestly, this is really easy. You just uh -huh. straight in and then bolts through and bolts through. Like here? Yeah. Like this? So like literally just. Ta -da. Oh, yeah. go in. Oh really? Am I gonna get cut again? I just started healing. Peep at the hole on the side. Huh? Peep at? No, take a peek. Like a peek. <laughs> peek -a I was like, what? Go in! turning the right way yeah okay so it's been <laughs> kind of um hard for me so i'm gonna have the rest of the guys do it oh wait yeah it's oh wait nope never mind jk i got it nope not again help ready <laughs> So the shop guys are helping install the rest of the angle kit, so we're gonna go ahead and start on the seat rows, right? Let's do this. Let's get it. So we're gonna start with installing the seat brackets. Um, we're gonna test fit the seats and adjust accordingly, so that way Sarah is very comfortable with her yep. drifting position. So once these seat brackets are bolted in the car, there's a lot of different ways that this can be adjusted and bolted in. So we're gonna try to find the best position that Sarah will feel most comfortable with. Do you like your seat angled back a little bit? No. You like it flat? Yeah. But do you feel like you're you're gonna fall forward if it's too flat? If it's I don't want too flat, but somewhere so meeting in between. Maybe I just don't like leaning back because then my legs can't reach. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I mean is there sliders for this? There are sliders, yes. Oh okay. So it can move sliders. back and forth. So a little angle going back. <laughs> Now that we got the brackets on, we're gonna put the sliders on so that way we can make that to the seat bracket. Got it? So the first hole? I think the first outer hole. So Is this kind of close up? What do I do? Push or pull? Oh. And then what do we put this? That's yeah. why. <laughs> I wanna mess it up. Yeah. Oh my Ooh, you cussed. Beep. Don't scratch the car. So we 
ordered pink harnesses from Japan, but it didn't come in yet. So we're gonna use the black harnesses that came with the car and currently installing them right now. So the wise pads are on and now we're gonna put on the wheel sides. Today was a long, fun, productive day. We installed so many things on the car. Um, I can't wait to see how the car drives with the Wisefab and how much angle I'll make. And we pinked out the car. It looks pretty good and I can't wait to show you guys with the kit and the wrap and just the pink everywhere. And can't wait to take it on the track. It's Firefox. I'm a Twitch streamer, host, and general internet person, and this is my 2017 Nissan GTR. Damn, how long did you have this car for? Um, I got this 2018. Whoa. Yeah, it was early 2018. Uh -huh. Yeah. What did you have before that? Oh my gosh. So before this, uh -huh. nothing crazy. Uh -huh. I had a. I had Audi A4. <laughs> so what package is this GTR like? It's mostly stock. Uh -huh. This whole thing is mostly stock. Uh -huh. Although we do have a uh, cob, uh, cob exhaust, mm -hmm. and then you Twitch now, right? Yeah, yeah. I've You've been, been actually yeah, for a bit. I've uh -huh. been streaming on Twitch um, since 2013. Uh -huh. so I, got, I found this in my PO box. Oops. Okay. Oh, some uh, some of this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I was streaming. Uh, pretty con pretty consistently at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then um, I took like a little bit of a break. Uh -huh. But now I've been back, like with quarantine and everything. Right. I've been way more consistent. I've been uh -huh. streaming a lot more. You know, what? Well. I tried twitching. Oh, sorry, it's not twitching. Right? <laughs> I started. I know <laughs> we can call it twitching. I started twitching. Oh. <laughs> I started Twitch, but then like it's so hard for me, like every day to like talk and stuff like that. Like, how do you do it? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think once you just your like, name, that's why I'm right. I guess. And yeah. first of all, I feel like you would kill it on Twitch. Really? Yeah, genuinely. I, I suck feel like at you games. So do I. <laughs> so. What's your main game that you play on Twitch? Uh, right now, honestly, I do a lot of streams where I'm just like chatting with oh, people. Oh, just chatting. Yeah, but uh, I will play. Um, I play through Cyberpunk. I play a lot of like RPG games. <gasps> That's right. Games. I remember you posting about Cyberpunk. Yeah, right? yeah, that was that was crazy. That was fun. Kind of known for like CS:GO sometimes. Oh. Play some CS:GO. I'll play Overwatch. Gangsta. Yeah. Do you ever stream like car stuff? No, but I really want to uh -huh. because usually when I'm streaming, uh -huh. people we end up talking about cars uh -huh. anyway. Right. We end up just on the conversation of cars. Uh -huh. So people ask questions and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, I would love to do more like actual car content on Twitch. Right, that'd be dope. Because not a lot of, is there like Twitch streamers that you know like um, stream car stuff? There's gotta be. They're more so like. YouTube platforms, right, and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's Twitch. more like produced content mm -hmm. as opposed to live stream content, but there should be. Uh -huh. 
there should be more people just doing yeah one time i streamed washing my car and i was so dumb <laughs> i've been thinking about doing that yeah, honestly yeah, yeah, but was it people fun, watched yeah i got a lot of viewers on it They're, i'm just talking and washing my car yes. and like, they actually liked it i was, I was like, thinking of doing that though <laughs> just literally washing my car <laughs> but that's fun because like a you get to connect with people and yeah. then b your car gets clean so. yeah mm -hmm. true did you ever play guitar hero yeah, the guitar oh hero. My God, yes. You know the song uh, "Through the Fire and Flames." No, it's like one of the hardest songs that they have. Um, it's from a band called Dragon Force, uh -huh. and one of the main guys um, he streams on Twitch all the time, uh -huh. and he's like a guitarist, and he shreds. He's super super cool, uh -huh. but he's really into cars, Ooh. and like loves cars. Mm -hmm. So I feel there's people who are on the platform who love cars, just True. aren't doing like a lot of car twitch stuff you know yeah how like the world a car community is so bridged with like music and like you know like wax we met wax yeah like together that's how that's i met how you met. right and then like he's a dj and he's in music industry and then you know he's into like jdm and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool what is your like most favorite thing to do with cars like do you just like to collect them or you just love your GTR or? I love going for Canyon drives. Ooh. I do a lot of Canyon runs. Mm -hmm. I did, uh, I mean, I love Angel's Crest. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. You know what? I went to Los Angeles Crest in my S2 one time and I got car sick from myself. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I had to throw up. Like, Wait, from you driving? From me driving <laughs> up Angeles Crest. But what's funny is when I drift, I don't get sick at all. Probably because I know, like, I don't know. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Usually it's like crash. if the you're passenger, the passenger, right? Yeah. Right. So how'd you um, get into cars? Um, well, my dad was always into cars. He had like a 60-something Jaguar. He had like a 60-something Corvette. Uh -huh. He like loved classics. Uh -huh. um, and I guess it could just kind of imprinted on me. He would take me like go-karting. Uh -huh. And I got my license as soon as I could. Uh -huh. And when I was a kid, I used to, when I was waiting for the bus stop, uh -huh. I'd see cars that are like driving past me mm -hmm. and I'd try and guess what they were before <gasps> I would see them. That's good so practice. I, yeah, yeah, I started learning like model names mm -hmm. and um, like different makes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, I just got my license as soon as I could mm -hmm. and I had a Cavalier Z24, two-door. Um, I put Underglow on it, uh -huh. of course. I think I had a Decepticon sticker. I love sticker. that they're bringing <laughs> Underglow back. Yes. You know what I mean? Like before it was like, oh, it's a racer or whatever, but mm -hmm. now it's like It's kind of coming back. back. It's cool. I've it's seen so it. It's so sick. Yeah. Honestly, the, one of the biggest reasons why I have this car mm -hmm. is at the time I was looking for a new car uh -huh. and uh, I tweeted out, I'm uh -huh. like, at Nissan, at Audi, at everybody, uh -huh. uh, fight for my love and my wallet, basically, because uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, in, I'm looking for oh a new car. Oh my god, it was a tweet. Yeah, Nissan was the first people, uh -huh. they were the first to get back to me. <gasps> and they slid in my DMs and they're like, hey, uh, like if you want to just borrow this GTR, take it for like a week, let me know, like, let us know what you think uh-huh and i took this out for a week uh -huh. and there was no way that i could drive anything else oh my god i was so else. Are fast right they're like really fast like how yeah. much does this push um it's over 500 this one's over 500 we did an ecutech tune on it um, <laughs> I think some like big rock or something mm -hmm. chipped the front. I'm sure you saw on the front. If I'm gonna replace the front, maybe it's time. For a kit? <laughs> Body kit? Oh. <laughs> um, what, what color do you think I should get? Do you like being like extra? I do you think like to I, pop? You know what I mean? And, okay, like, well, well, give break me, necks? Or yeah, like, give me like a, like a neck breaking color and then give me like a low key option. No key, I yeah. love like gunmetal GTRs. That's what this is under. Oh really? Why yes. did you wrap it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, or I go with like sick, but... bright like midnight blue or some Ooh. like midnight purple kind of thing. Ooh. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna keep this. You daily drive it. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's really stupid bringing this thing to like Ralph's. It's really dumb. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what you fun. mean because I used to daily drive my S2. Oh man. And I'm, I'm nothing compared to the GTR, you know, but like. <laughs> but still. But still, still, it looks all like crazy. So like. I know that we have a mutual mm -hmm. race service. Right. Yes. So I love part of them, with those right? guys. Yeah, like I used to go to their um, their cars and coffee on Wednesdays pretty often, mm -hmm. and just the people that you would meet. Um, I just recently got familiar board. with them because ever since that event. The oh one yeah. That you put in me. Yeah, the one that I lost my voice yeah, and literally happened? couldn't. I got laryngitis. 
Lara, I, laryngitis? Yeah, I think I've lost that sounds my like voice. an STD. <laughs> what is laryngitis? It's very serious. <laughs> really? <laughs> to do some like drift with you yeah let's do it i have no idea what i'm doing it's so fine i can teach, teach you too me. yeah <laughs> let's let's go i would love that uh -huh. um, yeah definitely don't have the expertise oh my god let's go it'll be so, so fun i can tell someone tried to do a donut I, yeah there's, there's so many donuts <laughs> right. anyway. nice catching up yes so much for taking me home. Uh, it was nice seeing you okay drive safe yes 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 <laughs> all right, all right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>